in this video i will discuss about thermistor so the name itself will indicate it is a thermally sensitive resistor which means its resistance will change uh, uh, in relation to the temperature so thermistor types are uh, two uh, types so ntc thermistor and ptc thermistor so ntc thermistor is a need to temperature coefficient of resistance which means its resistance will decrease the increase of the temperature so ntc thermistors are um, manufactured very with a very tight uh, resistance tolerance so it can be used for a precise temperature measurement and control and typical tolerance of NTC uh, that measures or plus or minus 5 plus or minus 3 plus or minus 1 or even less whereas uh, the PTC that is positive temperature coefficient of resistance that measures so cannot be manufactured economically with very tight tolerances and typical tolerance of PTCs are uh, plus or minus 15 or plus or minus 20 degrees centigrade PTCs will um, have a increase of uh, resistance with respect to the increase of the temperature and typical applications of uh, PTC are heat and uh, self reset full beefs because it cannot be manufactured with very tight um, tolerances so it cannot be used for precise measurement of uh, temperature so in this video i will discuss about ntc thermistors in the other video i will discuss about ptc thermistor so the ntc thermistor main application is temperature measuring device and as a current limiting device if you see um, how it is ntc thermistor is used as a current limiting device if you see in the below figure so um, without ntc, NTC thermistor so whenever the power supply is switched on because of the capacitor acts as a short circuit during the starting conditions it will draw very high current and it will may affect or damage the rectifier so in order to um, product the rectifier so ntc that mystery is placed so initially it is having very high resistance so as the current flows through it so its resistance will decrease and it will not um, uh, further oppose the current over a, um, after the initial condition so the graph shows that without uh, ntc that mystery the current is starting current is very high after placing the ntc that mystery the starting current is uh, limited to a safe value so it has a temperature measuring device when these thermistors are made from mixture of uh, metal oxides that gives a negative electrical resistance for such temperature so um, one of the important uh, um, uh, parameter of the ntc thermistor is uh, b constant so the b constant will determine the uh, slope of the uh, resistance versus temperature characteristic of the thermistor if you see on the right side figure so um, the b with 45 4570k is having steep curve compared to the b with 3740k so um, the higher the value of the b a uh, b constant of uh, the thermistor the steep the curve is means uh, the more the the sensitive the thermistor is so if you, the resistance and temperature can be first, can be with the first order approximation can be given as rt equal to r25 d power b into 1 by t minus 1 by 298.15 so this 298.15 uh, is um, 25 degrees centigrade in kelvin so by adding 273.15 to 25 degrees centigrade we will get 298.15 so in practice uh, b will not remain a constant so it will also vary with respect to the temperature so generally uh, the um, uh, the, uh, the, res the resistance versus temperature is defined between two temperatures that is 225 degrees and 85 degrees centigrade so 25 degrees is the base temperature of the thermistor and in relation to this 25 and 85 it can be 2550 or 2580 or 2500 mm, so the uh, latest material offer tolerance as low as plus or minus 0.3 percent so with this first order basis the above equation is a first order approximation of uh, the resistance versus temperature of uh, the thermistor so if you want to have a um, more accurate um, measurement so the third order polynomial as shown below can be used rt equal to r25 into a e power a plus b by t plus c e by t square plus d by t cube with this approximation we will get um, tolerances of plus or minus 0.1 percent or even less and a b c d is the material constant that depends upon the type of the thermistor you are using so sensor tolerance this is means the variation of uh, the uh, ntc sensor over its operating temperature range is a combination of the tolerance on r25 means base resistance uh, of the thermistor plus b value so that is given by so the change in resistance uh, to the resistance r of the thermistor equal to uh, delta r25 by delta r25 uh, by r25 so the initial resistance um, that may be if it is a 1 kilo ohm thermistor it may not be 1 kilo ohm uh, 1 kilo ohm at 25 degrees 
centigrade so that uh, that uh, tolerance plus uh, the material be constant tolerance if you add these two we will get a total tolerance of the ntc sensor if you see in the right side figure so um, this uh, delta r should be a ideal case should be very flat but actual uh, case these thermistors will have a um, certain slope so the important advantage of the thermistor is it is having a large negative slope which means a small change in the temperature will also cause significant uh, change of the resistance which can be accurately measured by the corresponding electronics so this is a typical example so a 10 kilo ohm ntc thermistor means 10 kilo ohm is at 25 degrees centigrade generally the thermistor is generally specified uh, resistance is at 25 degrees centigrade having a p value of beacon 3455 kelvin between temperature range of 25 and 100 degrees centigrade so you have to calculate the resistance value of 25 and 100 degrees centigrade so 25 degrees centigrade it is 100 kilo ohms and at 100 degree centigrade we can calculate by using this uh, formula which we have already discussed we will get at uh, 100 degree centigrade it is 973 ohms because it's ntc uh, the mister its resistance will decrease with increase of the temperature so the typical uh, NTC thermistor specifications are base resistance that is at 25 degree centigrade what is the uh, thermistor um, resistance another one is a b value so which is the important middle constant uh, that is defined between the two temperatures and one is 25 degrees centigrade and another can be any other temperature so temperature coefficient of resistance so which will express the uh, sensitivity of this sensor means uh, to the temperature changes which is given by alpha equal to delta r by r uh, divided by the change in the temperature so uh, thermal time constant so the time taken uh, by the thermistor to reach uh, from ambient temperature to the 63.2 percent uh, um, of the thermistor temperature so thermal dissipation constant so dissipation factor so this is the necessary electrical power that uh, the thermistor uh, will take for uh, one degree uh, ray, uh, range of the temperature by self heating so the smaller the dissipation factor the more the sensitive the more sensitive the ntc thermistor for self heating so this should be as high as possible in order to eliminate the self heating error and maximum operating current is the um, it is the current that is to keep the term, thermistor temperature rising maximum of 0 0.1 degree centigrade so this is the typical specifications of an NTC thermistor. So at one kilo ohm thermistor, if we see, so the B value will vary depending upon the temperature ranges. And for 25 to 50, it is 3650, and for 25 to 80, it is 3688, and 25 to 85, it is 3693, and 25 to 100, it is 3706. And maximum operating current is 0 0.316 for this one kilo ohm thermistor, and maximum voltage is five. And typical dissipation constant is one. So for every one milliwatt of power, it's causing a self heating so for every 1 milliwatt of power due to self heating it causes a 1 degree rise of the temperature this is the equation which we all already discussed this is a relation between the resistance and temperature of the thermistor by a first order approximation and this is the typical um, resistance versus a temperature curve of the thermistor and uh, these are the uh, 1 kilo ohm and uh, the mister 10 kilo ohm thermistor with the different beta constants which is supplied by one of the uh, manufacturer so the sdc ntc thermistor at minus 40 it is having very high resistance of the order of 25.15 kilo ohm for a 1 kilo ohm with 3650k beta constant as the temperature increases the resistance will go down and this is it will follow the exponential curve as shown in the right side graph so how this resistance is measured the mister resistance so you can measure by using a voltage applied across uh, the bridge as shown or it can be a constant current can be passed and voltage drop across this uh, the mister can be measured which can be further uh, interrelated to your uh, temperature and the other applications of the thermistor measurement is uh, it can be used uh, as a heating element in the mass flow controller thermal mass flow controller or flow meters or it can be used as a heat detection in the fire alarms so thank you for watching my video